Hey guys, today's video is all about this Stila Stay All Day Foundation and I guess concealer. It does have like a little pot on the top of concealer, but I don't really use that. This foundation is labeled as new on Sephora and I'm kind of confused because this is not a new foundation. The Stila Stay All Day Foundation used to be one of my favorites uh, like years ago. I think they've repackaged it twice. Now this has like this weird little push and when I push this down, product comes out. Um, and it used to have like a spatula. So, I mean, like I've tried looking on Sephora and it doesn't say anything about it being like reformulated. Sometimes I feel like when they bring new shades out to like an already existing formula, I find they put new, uh, a new stamp on it on Sephora because this shade here, Porcelain Zero, is a new shade that they didn't carry in the previous packaging. So the last one that I would have bought was in shade I think it was bare or it was just number one it, there was no zero back then and I just remember thinking when I had that foundation like it's just too dark for me I love it and if they had a lighter shade like I would buy it in a heartbeat so when I saw that there was a lighter shade I bought it in a heartbeat so this is not a first impressions because obviously I've tried the Stila Stay All Day before but I just wanted to put it on my face, show you what it looks like, and show you what it looks like at the end of the day in case you were thinking of purchasing this. I know a lot of people have recently been trying it in their videos. So yeah, this shade is like pretty neutral. It's not like, focus, focus. It's not super warm, but it's definitely not cool toned either. The concealer itself I find to be like almost darker than the foundation. So I don't really use this. And on top of that, it's like very, very creamy, like overly creamy to the point of greasy. So I don't, I don't use that concealer. So I do find you don't need very much of this foundation. I do think it applies the best with a sponge for sure. Right, so that's one half of my face completed versus the other side. It really just evens everything out and I find it looks super natural and super smooth. I don't understand why I'm seeing these reviews of people saying that it looks cakey on them. And I often have issues with like texture on my skin and foundations looking not natural. This is one of the most natural foundations that I've found that has decent coverage. By the way, I did not apply a primer or even a moisturizer on underneath of this. This is just the foundation on its own. All I did was shower and wash my face. That's why my hair is wet. So here's what my skin looks like. Honestly, I love this foundation so much. It doesn't have a crazy matte powder finish either. I would say this foundation has medium coverage, but I do think it's slightly on the higher side of medium. This foundation does oxidize just a little bit, so probably in a few minutes you'll notice that my skin may be just slightly darker, but I can still totally get away with it and it doesn't like turn orange at all. I feel like it even like smoothed out slightly the pores on my nose. So this foundation does have silicone in it. It does have dimethicone. And I typically don't love foundations that have that in it but this one does not have that s slippy or silicone texture at all. It's definitely more like a light cream and it doesn't stay tacky, it doesn't stay heavy feeling, it really just is pretty lightweight. So let's just read a couple things in the back here. 12 hour wear, high definition liquid foundation, totally agree. Lightweight, medium to full buildable coverage, totally agree. Matte finish, I would say it's like matte but not powdery oil free fragrance free which is really nice especially if you have kind of more oily skin and you get one fluid ounce which is pretty typical and canadian it was 52 dollars it comes in 16 shades so the lightest being the one that i have porcelain zero and then the darkest one is called espresso 
number 15, which looks fairly dark. There's definitely a decent amount of like kind of in between shades as well. This is still like slightly tacky. I find that this one takes a little bit longer to dry down, but when it does, it's like totally stuck to your skin and really does last a long time. So I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup. I'm not gonna be putting on a powder with this. I definitely don't need it. And I will check back with you guys later in the day to show you how it's holding up on my oily skin. But I can already tell you, I love, I love this foundation and I love how it wears. Hey guys, I have been wearing the foundation all day long and I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working with. So after almost eight hours, this is, this is the foundation. It looks really, really good. I mean, obviously got a couple glasses marks, but it's not like crusty. Sometimes I find when I wear my glasses, it like really cakes up and it's like gets really slimy. You know, it actually looks really good really minimal creasing this is just my highlighter uh by the way my tripod is like <laughs> being a pain right now so that's why i'm just holding this up uh so yeah this is the foundation really love it really great if you have oily skin it controls oil decently and it really stays put really well so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video very soon bye